for the calculation of standard deviation or volatility let's start with the simplest approach and the simplest approach is to simply calculate st del for the standard deviation function in excel and apply that to the series of this results over here and this gives us what we call our estimate for daily volatility this is the daily vol a daily volatility for the euro is 0 0.007411 how does that translate into annualized volatility Annualized volatility is simply daily vol times the square root of number of days involved or required as far as this calculation is concerned. So let's make an assumption. Let's make an assumption that the number of days in a year, days in a year are 260, uh, which means that the annualized volatility for the euro is going to be the daily vol times the square root of 260. In and there we go. So the daily volatility, so the annual volatility, the annualized volatility for the euro as per the series is just over just about 12 percent, 11.95 percent. And this is the so about 70 basis points per day and about 12 percent a year. So, what have we learned so far? What we've learned is in terms of the sequence of actions that are required to calculate volatility. Our first step was to work with the data set. Data set. Second step was to calculate daily returns, which we just did. Our third step was to calculate an estimate of daily volatility, which we did over here. Our fourth step, which is not necessary for the actual calculation of value at risk, but is useful for interpreting the results that we see, was to calculate what we call trading volatility. Volatility based on a 10 day data set. And trailing in the sense that you repeat this calculation all across so that you have a path and a trend that you can work off it. Once we had the daily volatility, we worked with a holding period or estimate for holding period, which in our case was 10. We also agreed on a confidence level, and that confidence level or confidence interval was at a 99.9 percentile, which basically means that there's only a 0.1 percent chance that you are going to see, that you're likely to see a move of more than 7.2 percent. Now, just as a quick cross check, we picked our maximum value, the maximum value that we like to see when it comes to the holding period of 1.59. We multiplied that by the square root of 10 to find out our crude approximation to the worst case move, and that worst case move is 5%, which is not that far off from 7.0% shock. 